exploring how we make that supply chain from farm to fork more sustainable, how we make it a more circular economy type model, and how we do all of that while we're meeting our net zero uh, target obligations. population grows and as the climate changes, farmers will not only have to cope with climate change, will not only have to cope with the fact that temperatures are, are more variable, we get colder winters, hotter summers or whatever, or more flooding or etc. We are actually also, as agriculturalists and farmers, expected to mitigate them. We're expected to catch carbon, develop our soils and actually mitigate and reduce climate change as well as cope with it. So we are well and truly as our crops lists on the front line. In the global north, we've got a very sophisticated way of getting stuff out of the ground and getting it to the end consumer. And then we were very wasteful with it. We throw a lot of it away. In the global south, there are real challenges getting the product from the farm to the consumer, and the consumer wastes pretty much nothing. And so that distinction and that challenge um, plays out in how we think about our supply chains. And I guess when the Global Cold Chain Alliance is thinking about the biggest single job we have to do is about getting cold chain built in places in the world where we don't have it. use again artificial intelligence and in particular computer vision and digital signal processing to be able to see above ground, below ground and combine all of that to give a grower a picture of how the crop is moving in time. So the important thing is not only that you're telling them this is what your crop looks like today, you're also saying hey let me project it one week, two weeks, three weeks and let me tell you when is the right time to burn down so you can maximize your marketable yield. We need to create a greater vision, and I think this is the responsibility of the industry, to create a vision that shows regulators and politicians that we can actually deliver a much more circular economy in agriculture than we're currently doing.